Alika Organics Microchanneling. Join Kelly and her client, Rachel, as we demonstrate a session. Starting off with lemon cleansing milk to remove the initial dirt and oil. The face is already damp, working in pleasing gentle circles and swiping motions, getting into the crevices of the skin, beginning the stimulation of blood flow. Lemon cleansing milk is excellent for your combo to oily skin, acneic, works to help brighten and infuse with many antioxidants. It is the first part of any double cleanse for any protocol, even for daily use. It is also an excellent opportunity to massage the client and put them into a relaxing state prepping for your treatment. Second part of the double cleanse, today we're using mineral exfoliating wash applied to barely damp skin, creating a sticky tacky sheen. Here we have already added some water to it so it creates a nice foam. It gets deeply into the pores of the skin. It is the high pH that creates the gentle exfoliation. Skin pH is 4.5 to 5.5. The mineral exfoliating wash is between an eight and a half and a ten. Mineral exfoliating wash is for your combo to oily, congested, can also use on sensitive skin as well. This second part of the double cleanse is an additional opportunity for massage, also perpetuating blood flow to the surface of the skin in preparation for the microchanneling treatment. Now applying a wrung out warm towel for removal and for relaxation. A gentle press into the skin feels wonderful on the client's face and assists in gentle removal. Next is the exfoliation process using sulfuric exfoliator loosening and removing the dead skin. Sulfur has small pieces in it on its own that removes dead keratin layers. This is a gentle exfoliator, good for your sensitive, inflamed, even acneic skin. You can use it as an eye and a lip treatment. It is anti-inflammatory, extremely soothing. The peppermint oil brings a definite cooling effect to the skin. You can remove it by using a damp wet cloth and flipping multiple times, or you can gommage, which is what Kelly is doing here. We have sped up this clip, so she's not working that quickly on the client. And then she removed with a warm wet cloth by pressing into the skin, flipping, and gentle removal in upward motions. Next is more massage with carotene massage cream, very nourishing, hydrating, just the right amount of slip, refreshing for the skin, good for your aging, dry, sensitive. This is grape stem cell gel mask, acts fast, boosts cell metabolic turnover by 124%, extreme reduction in free radicals, helps new baby cells to rise to the surface. The active ingredients stimulate that cell turnover, reducing the wrinkle depth, slows wrinkle development, Powerful grape stem cells protect skin and increase longevity. We also have grape stem in a cleansing milk, a hydrating misc, which is a toner, a polishing scrub, which is an exfoliator, a serum moisturizer, rich moisturizer as well. Especially the serum and moisturizer combined with ecopeptide therapy is excellent for an aging protocol. Here, Kelly is using cooling globes, which can even out the skin tone, minimize appearance of pores, can reduce puffiness and dark circles under the eyes, can also stimulate blood circulation and oxygenation to the skin, promotes collagen production, lessens the appearance of broken capillaries, and can even relieve migraine and sinus pain headaches. Now prepping for the channeling using hyaluronic elixir, which is dual weighted hyaluronic acid and quad defense essence. Both of these products will be infused into the skin with the channeling. Hyaluronic elixir is dual weighted hyaluronic acid with a little bit of vitamin C as a preservative. It is 
short strand, medium strand. The short strand penetrates deeply beneath the surface to plump and give the skin turgor. The medium strand will stay on the surface of the skin to act as a humectant and draw in more water. Everybody needs hyaluronic acid every single day as it is the drink of water for the skin and what gives the skin that nice glowy finish. Quad Defense Essence has the same hyaluronic base and is also infused with sea buckthorn, cantaloupe, elderberry, and black currant. Using this product in conjunction with microchanneling helps to boost the stimulation of elastin and collagen while at the same time boosting skin immunity to protect from irritation. As I talked about before with the medium chain hyaluronic acid, in addition to being humectant drawing water down into the skin, it also helps to seal the moisture into the skin as well. During this treatment, Kelly is holding the skin taut using linear stamping to create channels to stimulate a wound healing cascade or to penetrate product. She's using a 50% overlap at a 0.25 depth. Microchanneling stimulates fibroblast, which is the first step in collagen synthesis. Adding in the additional benefits of the hyaluronic elixir and quad defense essence helps to complete this collagen production. The less trauma to the skin with the microchanneling, the more time for collagen rebuild. It is common to experience dryness the first couple of days afterward because the biome of the skin has been penetrated and you'll experience what is called TUL, transepidermal water loss. If the skin is acne prone, you want to stick to a Hydrotone Rose Cleanser, a probiotic serum, and a rosehip moisturizer. For hyperpigmentation, a grape stem serum and stone crop whipped moisturizer, and with aging, an ecopeptide serum and grape stem cell moisturizer. For those with sensitive skin, stick to the Hydrotone Rose across the board. Wait 24 hours following treatment to allow the body time to heal itself. We will be soon launching more videos on microneedling and other modalities. Thank you, Rachel, for being an excellent model. If you would like access to any of our private YouTube videos and you're a partner with us, please contact us directly at customer service at zapalette.com.